Hi guys, welcome back to Book Talk with Brittany. Um, today I'm going over my February wrap up. Now it was a slower month for me as far as reading and listening to books because we were traveling. I did a lot of, um, like I spent time with my family and so not as much time to listen to my audiobooks or read, but every night I sat down and read a physical book. Now that may not sound like much to you, but this was my first book that was over 500 pages. It was 799 pages. Crazy. I would show it to you, but the airline lost my bag. So I don't have it right now. Um, but that was the House of Earth and Blood, the Crescent City series, the first one. And I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to start this second one. Um, however, I started Throne of Glass. Now, I have listened to it before and honestly, I didn't remember I didn't remember there wasn't really anything memorable for me and I just remember everybody was hyping it up so much that I said maybe I maybe I missed something because I listened to it and just meh. so then I thought why not buy the first book and read the physical copy instead of just listening to it and I'm reading it and I'm enjoying it so much more and because I already listened to it now I'm rereading it and realizing things that I didn't realize before and now it's coming back to my memory I don't remember all the details but I remember like the big points in the book um and so I'm annotating this one and I'm really enjoying it and now that I kind of know how the ending, like what happens in the ending, I'm looking for those little clues along the way. So it's fun to kind of see how um, the author has like sprinkled kind of what's happening throughout the book. So I'm really enjoying it. So I'm currently rereading Throne of Glass. Well, I say currently rereading it. It was also in my bag that got lost. So I'm on a pause. Then I listened to A Touch of Ruin, which is the second book in the Hades Persephone series, uh, Touch of Darkness, Touch of Ruin, Touch of Malice. I will not be finishing the series. I listened to Touch of Ruin and honestly was just not impressed. The wind is blowing, guys. I live in Hawaii. There's a lot of noise. Sorry about it. Um, but I will not be continuing that series. It just isn't for me and I gave it a try I started the second book a while back absolutely hated it cut it off started again still didn't like it but I finished it because I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt but I will not be finishing that series and then I listened to be still my heart by Emily McIntyre and it was a good twist for me. Now, I thought I was listening to Still Beating, which I had heard a lot about recently. And so I thought I had downloaded that book. Kind of similar covers. Had the word beating, beat in it. So I thought it was the right book. And then I realized I accidentally downloaded the wrong book, which is fine. But um, it was a good change of pace. Now, what I would say, it was a little steamier than the books that I usually read or listen to. With that being said, I still enjoyed it. It was a good, it was a good change of pace because I've been reading a lot of fantasy and a lot of romance. And so it was a good change of pace. It was a thriller. It had me guessing. I enjoyed it. So there's that. You can listen to it. You might really like it. Um, I do have another like little review on my TikTok, so feel free to check that out, Audiobook Brit, um, where I talk a little bit more about it. And also on my TikTok, it's kind of like what I'm currently doing, so I try to like post my story. I'm, I post in the stories there, and then I post a lot of like little short videos over there as well that has a little bit more information um, as to what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So feel free to go follow that if you're enjoying this book content. Then the other book that I just finished was The Teacher by Frieda McFadden. And I love Frieda McFadden books. The first one I ever read um, by Frieda, I think was actually The Wife Upstairs. And 
I loved it. I love the twist and turns. Um, now, I did previously read Verity, which is very similar to The Wife Upstairs, so much so that I researched to see who wrote what book first because they were so similar, like so similar. But then the twists and the turns were all completely different. So if you know anything about Frieda McFadden's books, they are like layered. Ogres are like onions. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it. We both have layers. The way she writes at the ending, it just, when the plot starts to twist, it starts to, tw everything is twisting. And then you un, un, like, unravel, unfold the layers of the twist, which was super fun. And I really enjoyed it. So I just finished The Teacher. It was a good one. I'm not big on age gap. That's probably one of my least favorite um, book tropes. And this is an age gap book trope. So it follows two teachers, um, husband and wife, Eve and Nate, and they are teachers. So one's a math teacher, one's an English teacher, and they have this student named Addie who is both of their students. And yeah. And she already has kind of like a bad name because she may or may not have done something with another teacher who's no longer working at the school and it kind of ruined his name. And so you're following this story and then things just start to unravel and you're like, what? Um, so I did enjoy it. It wasn't my favorite Frida book. My favorite Frida book still to this day is Never Lie to Me. Ugh. It is my favorite. But anyways, those are the books that I read in the month of February. I will have linked below all of the books that you can just shop my February wrap up. Um, shop it from Amazon. Super easy. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've read any of the books, please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you're new here, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Welcome to Brittany's Book Talks. I hope you're enjoying it. This is my second book talk video and I have thoroughly enjoyed doing it and reviewing it and making all the shorts all about video, um, all about the books. So thank you for being here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.